All right, I'm back. So Yeah, let me fix some of the issues you still have with it. I agree actually with most of them. This is a bit too time influence is too big. Let's slow it down, slow it down. I think by even more. And let's also change the colors. So let's make one fifty, three hundred. Decrease, uh, make the small coarse details less obvious. Mm, reduce the pollution even more. Let's do something uh, that doesn't make sense. So let's, let's maybe four zero point three five something like that. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, maybe less. Let's do it like this. can actually try out uh, what several factories next to each other look like in a second if you're interested in that. Ah, this looks kind of nice now, it's pretty... Yeah, you can almost not see the small influence anymore, I like that, I like that. And okay, let's actually... Let's actually center it over the building. Remember, we used the seat point as the as the point where it is created. Uh, so let's actually come on. Where is it? Buildings. Let's actually find the correct center point of the factory and create the pollution there. So. So the actual, the correct center point um, would be three, 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 zero, zero, zero. Um, so to find the actual center point of the building, we actually take the vertices of the lot of the building, average over them. Uh, so yeah. Let's do that. Four vertex zero, vertex final lot dot length, dot vertex plus, um, center point, let's camel case that. Add plot this vertex. Finally, center point. Multiply scalar one over lot. So we're basically just doing average of all the lot vertices. And uh, yeah, let's actually make it more transparent again. something like this so it should now be centered above the factory right so what it looks like yeah now it's perf is it centered above I think it is centered above the factory and uh, oh, but now you almost can't see it animate anymore So, how about, yeah, let's increase that to this, um, make it a little, no, bit. let me think about that, yeah, let's make it like uh, 200, 200, 
No, this is the speed. The speed is fine. We want to change this here. Um, so this would be 100, 100, and uh, let's do 300, 300. Let's do 100, 200. Pollution is like a map you vote, but right now it's just um, enabled always, so we can develop it quicker. But of course, it will be targetable eventually. So now we have the animation back. I think that looks pretty much what I want it to look like. Is it centered though? I don't know. It doesn't look perfectly centered. Pole factory is going. And as I said earlier, um, as I said earlier, it's kind of hard to get multiple factories because, because we don't have enough workers in our city. But a quick hack we can use to fix that is to just make the neighboring city provide much more uh, much more workers so where is it no not citizen city oh, da, 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 da. neighboring cities come on what is it Hello. come on come on come on come on come on come on where is it here. So let's just say that our neighboring city just offers like almost infinite amounts of work so and has a like really huge demand for products so we can add as many factories as we want because just the neighboring city needs it. So if we look at this we can now see that there's <laughs> infinite demand for factories and uh, um, wait this is demands right? Consumption no not work but uh, sales work, we want to have a lot of workers. Let's check that. Yeah. So now we should be able to create as many factories as we want. Why doesn't this work? Oh. All right. Uh, let's see. Oh. <laughs> so this is what it looks like when we have uh, when we have loads of factories at one point. Let's actually experiment a little bit with that. <laughs> oh, this is pretty bad. Maybe at some... Uh... Come on, you can do it. Come on, why does it lag so much? Yeah, now it's definitely too dark with this many factories. There's still like, come on, I think the game just froze. Yeah, let me kill the game, come on. I don't know why the game just froze. Let's restart it. Try that again. <laughs> And see what it looks like when we space out the factories a little more. So maybe add one here, add one here, and one here for example. Alright, this looks, yeah, pretty interesting. <laughs> so yeah, I think we will leave it at that. Uh, we even have still nice animation. So I will just leave that here to watch it. And now f let's actually do the final round of Q&A. This is your last chance to ask me whatever you want. I will also actually open up some questions of people who couldn't make it to the stream and try to answer them. So we had some on the Reddit, some on Zimtropolis, and some on 
Come on. You can do it. I think I will have to close the game to And someone something awful. So let me find those questions that people wanted to uh, know about. At the end of the stream, can you build a city? Okay. Metropolis, I think the only question was uh, will there be automatic uh, grids when you zone? Um, I don't think so, I answered that question earlier already. Parallel road tool, yes, much more probable. Maybe, I think in the beginning there will just be guidelines and you so you can manually create parallel roads. If that really turns out to be much too annoying, I will think of something like automatic parallel roads or grids. So this is this question answered. Let's see which questions we had here. Wow, actually loads. Can I talk about uh, landscape, hilly terrain, water and flowing water? Well, ideally I would want something, I would actually want to have uh, dynamic water. regarding performance but I will try anyways because actual rivers and flowing water would be really nice. And yes water and different kind of terrain features will have influence on uh, construction definitely it will be harder to build in hilly terrain or more expensive and desirability as well I think people I will make it so properties next to lakes or on like high vista points are more desirable and worth more. Um, do you plan to have countryside elements? Yes, there are already farms um, and uh, yes, so building farms, rivers, small forests and villages like that is possible and is also something that I really want to support. Um, scaling, I try to make the scaling realistic so the kilometers in-game actually correspond to real kilometers and I will try to keep the sizes of cars and buildings and everything consistent. Um, some nice ideas. Uh, just some thoughts about how I might implement mixed zoning. Alright, so I think, let's see. I think I covered all the questions that people ask who couldn't join the chat. So now let's, uh, let's answer your questions. Let's start the game again so we have something interesting to watch. Don't worry, I will answer your questions in a second. like uh, pretty nasty all right let's answer questions would you be accepting models made by the community um, so I guess you mean like procedural buildings as long as they follow some set guidelines yes definitely I will be more than happy to actually incorporate procedural buildings into the main game as long as they kind of fit the style of the existing buildings Mm. 
do I want to leave the pollution like that? No, I will of course do loads more of fine tuning, but I guess as a first implementation, it works pretty well. How many citizens will live in a regular city? Hard, hard to say. As I said earlier, I try to, I will try to support really big cities. What kind of education do you have? So, so far, like my highest point of education is only finishing high school. I'm in university right now. I'm studying computer science and I'm kind of in my sixth, sixth semester, I guess. And I will probably finish my bachelor next semester. Will the global balancing values be model modable? Yes, definitely. Won't this animation interfere with the later addition of wind effects? Well, I guess the animation will just become the wind effects. Will there be a way to introduce a type of road tax like congestion charge in London? How does that work, congestion charge? <laughs> well, Baron Jutter, it's actually nice to have you here. Do you like the new subs and accounts we made? Yes, obviously, I didn't expect new subreddits just for objects in my room. Will you be able to specify specific metro lines? Yes, that would be nice. Will jobs, populations of buildings be consistent realistic? Yes, this is definitely something that I want to uh, achieve, like a realistic um, amount of people per building or businesses per building. I will obviously have to do lots of balancing with that, but uh, I want it to be realistic. So if there's a small house, there's really only a small family living in there. And if it's a huge residential skyscraper, there will be like, I don't know, up to thousands of people living there. How many people will normally live in a city? Well, I don't know. I want to support everything from like the tiniest village with only 100 people up to actually a multi-million metropolis and yeah so i already answered this will there be skyscrapers yes of course will city bound have some kind of camera orientation like north pole the distance in meters or in kilometer that our camera is distance from the goal um you mean like a compass or what or like a mini map will transportation options be available for citizens yes there will be public transport and other kinds of vehicles like uh uh, bytes or just going by foot and in the future when these are available citizens will choose the mode of transport or the combination of transports that is the most efficient to get where they want to get ah, I see about this uh, congestion charge in London I don't know maybe a mod could uh, provide that do you plan city regulations to affect building shapes like roofs, paint cells, uh, more uh, like uh, apart from densities? Yes, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if I will expose that in user interface. I mean, these are parameters of the procedural building generation, and I guess mods will be able to provide uh, user interfaces for adding these things as regulations. Will there be regions, countries? Maybe eventually, first I will only focus on this one city tile and will try to make it as big as possible, yes. What did you think about my post about zoning and mixed use and how RCI isn't a good paradigm of thinking how land use works? Um, for reference, he actually talked about how just residential, commercial, industrial isn't really realistic in any way. And in reality, you have much more fine-grained control over, for example, uh, a commercial zone for malls or just shopping that that is something completely different of course than than a commercial zone for office building um, I guess I want to be more realistic there uh, in the future but then again the nice thing about RCI is that it's just so simple and really quick uh, to understand and uh, maybe I will do this one step of dividing commercial into two things but then again you might argue well you might also uh, divide industrial into several categories and there's even categories that are kind of between commercial and industrial I don't know I think for the beginning I will just stick to RCI and uh, maybe hmm, maybe a mod could 
try out how the gameplay is for more complicated or realistic zone types and if it's still fun I could just adopt that into the main game. <laughs> Will there be Udon? Well you won't need something like that because everything you can do in Udon and even more will just be possible in the vanilla game. As you've mentioned before the game will be open for modders for the most part. What parts of the game code will be actually closed? Um, well, as I said, the game code, like the game logic, will be completely open. And the only thing that I will obfuscate is kind of the engine code, like uh, for example the pathfinding or something like that, that kind of runs the whole thing. The API for that will still be open, so you will be able to use things like the pathfinding, but you won't be able to find it out. Just I think this is the amount of protection that I feel is right, while still allowing all kinds of modding. When you start a new city, it will it generate terrain with water and forests? Will this some be something that can be modified? Yes, ex both are true. There will be auto-generated terrain. And of course the procedural generation of this terrain will be moddable. Do you plan any kind of starting building like city hall? Yes, I guess something... As I said, like there won't be ploppable buildings. There will just be sometimes also for like emergency buildings, service buildings, or in your case, government buildings. Are there things like temples, churches, or similar stuff? Um, maybe this could be uh, added uh, as something similar like uh, parks also with their own zone and they will be procedurally generated and offer uh, are like a source of, um, how would you say, relaxation and just general happiness for the citizens. How many donations did you get so far? I don't actually know the exact number by heart, but I guess something like uh, in total 2000 uh, bucks. Yeah, Baron Jutta, if you would be so friendly as to post a link to your post about RCI. I'm not sure if everyone will be even able to see it because you need to be a paid registered user for something awful forms, right? But maybe you can post it somewhere where people can see it because I think it actually has lots of value. If you're even still here, Baron Jutta. <laughs> will the game be playable in lower and on lower end machines? I hope so, and I will do everything that I can to do so. Um, I will definitely not add any kind of uh, artificial limits, both on the low end and on the high end. It will just be... The, the game will work, but it will just lag like hell if your computer is too weak for it. Let me actually stop the music, it's kind of annoying me now. And... Uh, yeah, I will do my best to support it on lo to support load machines as well. What about bridges and tunnels? And building on autobahn? Well, all of those will be possible. What about landmarks? Commercial buildings that attract tourists? Yes, there will be landmarks and they will attract tourists. And... Uh, In the main game, sorry, got a little bit distracted. I think Baron Jutter, you might not even be able to post links, so I think I will just post it for you. But let me close the game first. Mm. So for skyscrapers to tell us in the city, it becomes a landmark. Yes, maybe, but there might also just be landmarks like statues or something like that that uh, that don't have to be. Uh, That don't have to be. That don't have to have other uses. Uh, let me actually try to find Baron Jutter's post about RCI. stupid. So I think I found the post. So here's Baron Jutter's uh, post about RCI.
when will be the next live session i don't know i uh, will be kind of busy in the next time because i have to study for my final exam but I really enjoyed this today and I want to do it more often. Like I, s I said earlier, my goal would be to do this two times a week, maybe even in addition to the regular video update, because I feel it didn't even like um, mess with my productivity that much. I feel like I actually got something done today with the pollution feature and uh, development speed was comparable to my normal development speed. Like explaining it and commenting it doesn't uh, slow me down much. Sometimes in SimCity 4 we can see crimes happening on the streets. Um, yeah, like these examples. Will Citybound have this kind of detail? Well, all of these kind of animations are a lot of work to add. If I have to work or if modders implement that, sure, why not? Let me check the time. Uh, yeah, I agree, Baron Jutter. It's really fun to talk in real time. All right, then I guess like, give me your final questions. Um, I will change these values for the neighboring city back to something reasonable. And uh, I will just for the sake of it, uh, disable, disable the display of our new pollution map because some asked me about uh, building a city in the end and I will try to do it. Yes, Baron Jatta, I also got your email about transport network costs. I really appreciated it. Uh, unfortunately, I have like a huge backlog of emails, so it's almost always better to, even if it's like really a wall of text like you love to do, it's always better to post them on the public, uh, on the public discussion forums that I frequent much more often and where everyone can see it and read it and also give their feedback. Will you do more live streams? Yes, I just said that. I don't know exactly when. I will, of course, keep you informed, but I would love to do that. So let's try to build a city. Let's have our, let's have a small core of mixed use commercial and residential over here. So some shops with residential. Did I explain how neighboring cities, uh, how they work? I mean, right now they're kind of really abstract. You only have these kind of demands from them. Um, and they will stay like that for a while. But uh, I don't know, maybe they will get more complex when I haven't really thought that much about that yet, to be honest. I think I will just build a very uninspired city today. I'm not really creative anymore. Yes, Ragged Prince, I said it many times. My goal is to have cities of millions of people. I will have to see how quickly I will get to this goal, but it is definitely my goal. So now that we actually have pollution, I mean, I disabled it, but uh, it's still working, of course. We should add our factories far away from everything else, because people will actually decline to move next to them. Will you fix that zone marks also fuzzy? Uh, well, I did that on purpose so you don't see how pixelated they are. This didn't really work because you can still see the pixel edges here. So yeah, maybe I will think about a nicer way of rendering them. So let's see what our people are doing. Most of them have found the work and are going to work. There's high demands for offices. We don't have any of those yet. So let's uh, maybe add some over here. Uh, do you think as the project goes on, you will have the need to get a team? Yeah, someone asked me that in the very beginning. I think right now in the, be be uh, in the beginning of the project, it's actually good that I'm only um, one person because it allows me to be much more efficient to do really rapid iteration. 
and uh, yes at some point I might need a team I can't imagine right now what how that will look like or what it will be but uh, it might be a good idea to do this so let's kind of extend the main axis of our town here to add some agricultural to support the food needs of our town let's leave some space for future roads Um will we have a ruler or something to measure distances? Yes, definitely. Uh, can you make a road in a residential zone behind the existing buildings? What? You mean like uh Mm, like this. Sure, I can. And the buildings even uh, use it immediately. Did I prevent to farms to grow new polluted areas? No, uh, earlier we only added that for residential buildings, but now that we added it for residential buildings, it will of course be very easy to just add that to farms as well. And maybe it would be interesting to make them even more finicky towards pollution, because it really like ruins the crops or something. Agricultural zoning should have larger zone areas. Yes, I will adapt the zoning brush for them. Do you ever get tired of answering the same questions? Uh, just a little bit. I mean, even if I answered a question like a thousand times, I'm still happy that people are just like interested in the project in general. And if possible, I mean, what's happening and what I'm really glad about is uh, that uh, the people who have been following the project for a long time actually started to answer questions for me which of course helps me a great deal but I don't really get tired or annoyed by it I will just have to find ways to make it uh, more efficient to answer these kinds of questions that keep up keep coming up mm. the Xbox chair what do you mean what are the saving commands I mean for example we could quick save the city just by pressing ctrl s and then if we reload and press ctrl o for open i guess we have our city back if you want to save as a specific name you press uh, ctrl shift s and you can give it a name like this is the stream city and then if you want to open a specific game you press ctrl shift o i will of course add menu buttons for that but so far it's only shortcuts um, will zones contain alleyways and things when alleyways i guess like uh, you mean like decorative small roads or what or like stuff before buildings appear did you notice that cars are clashed together? Yes, the, the reason is that um, when I load the game, it loads the cars that are in transit and that were saved in the save game. And at the same time, it updates all citizens and suddenly some of them realize, oh, I should get to work. So you have kind of the saved cars and the new cars that realize that they have to get to work now on top of each other, uh, simply because I didn't handle that case yet. Are there traffic lights? Not yet, but hopefully soon. Yes, I already have massive traffic problems, so I really hope that I will uh, improve the road tool soon to allow for multi-lane roads that should make everything better. Um, you said there will be skyscrapers, how will density be defined? Um, I explained that earlier there won't be uh, different 
types of zones with different densities but you will have the zone types for the different kinds of zones and then you will have like a density brush where you can just generally paint the density for all zones and they will work in combination how you, do you plan to fill long zones with, ex, with an exact spacing well there will be guides that you can space at specific distances and that will help you with roads and exact zoning and stuff like that Uh, actually, I didn't implement the density tool yet, but I will do soon. Uh, oh, with like gap elements, you mean like uh, decorative details? Yes, there will definitely be procedural fillers like pools or just fences or like trees in the garden. That would be nice, yes. What about a to-do list? Uh, well actually i prefer to just keep it all in my head because maintaining a to-do list is actually much more work than just doing it in my head i guess maybe i will forget some things but as you said yourself uh, yourself like the important stuff comes up again and again anyway so i will be able to remember it i'm just still trying to make you aware of the issues with my time conversion yes i'm very aware of that uh, actually before we discuss this further i think we should just try how well bigger cities work i will implement all the all the systems needed for bigger cities make sure they run well and then i can start balancing for example the time ratio how many density steps will there be um well because it will be a separate tool uh it will just be like no steps just like a whatever height you want nah. Well, thanks for uh, thanks for donating, Loop Gamer. I appreciate it. And yeah, Grüße nach Bonn. <laughs> Will you be able to fill in a whole block with a certain zoning type? Yes, you will be able to do that. Um, actually, I kind of can't concentrate enough to build a proper city, so let me just quit the game, answer some more questions, and then I will end it. Like, let's do... Mm, let's do 10 more minutes. Is there something missing to end the game? What do you mean, end the game? Will wind move the air pollution around? Yes. I, but I think I will make the wind change direction only very slowly so you can uh, incorporate it in your city design without too much trouble. Um, oh, that's interesting regarding cities in motion. Thanks for this uh, example. I will keep it in mind. Um, how will mod distribution build be done? In the beginning, I think just very stupidly by sharing uh, zip files that you place in a specific folder. But I would love to build actually like a central repository, even with an in-game UI where you can just um, download and install all mods that are available and where you can see like the mods, maybe even something like a rating system how many people installed this mod, what they think about it. And I want to make the mods bound to a specific save game. So if you create a city and enable certain mods, this will be saved in the save file, like an information, okay, this these mods were used. And then when you give the save file to someone else, the game will detect that there are some missing mods, will automatically install them, and you will be able to play their save game with exactly the same uh, configuration of mods. This is my plan for that. Um, what's the time where I am? Well, it's 6 past 11 p.m. now. Pretty late. Will there be a star screen? Yes, of course. 
My German voice sounds totally ger uh, different as my English voice. Yes, I got, guess so. Are you writing any tests for the more complex algorithms? Um, yeah, I guess game code is kind of hard to do test driven development with in general because you, I mean, what what's easy to test like code that is nicely separated and that doesn't have like a lot of internal state. Well, game code is kind of the opposite of that. Everything depends on everything else. I try my best, but it's really hard to separate things, uh, to separate subsystems. Um, but uh, yeah, actually I think stuff like the pathfinding is pretty testable right now. And uh, so far I haven't felt the need for test-driven development. The debugging wasn't too painful, didn't take too much time so far, but um, I guess when I will go for more stable builds, like when the game is full on in production, I will actually add some tests for the most important systems. All right, any last questions? Will players be able to make a fallen city like Detroit? Yes, that would be fun. It would be even more fun if uh, the reasons for the city to be like that are actually like in the game. Yes, KSP is maybe a great example for managing mods. Will it be possible to have a tiny village with dense water wall buildings like many in Europe? Yes. <laughs> have you got ideas for ne next projects? Yes, more than uh, enough. But uh, I think this will keep me busy and happy for quite a while. Yes, in this case uh, I will need a database for mods, but this would be a system that I would create for the game. Alright, I'll wrap it up there. Thank you very much for watching. I think uh, I streamed for what, like 7 hours now? Pretty crazy, but Actually, it's much less tiring and exhausting than uh, than I expected it to be. It took me a while to get off uh, to kind to kind of get uh, enough focus to be able to go out and comment at the same time, but uh, I think I'm getting used to it. I had a minor screw up with the local recording of the stream. I will make sure that I have uh, loads of uh, hard disk space for the next one, but uh, I hope Twitch will do its part of the ar archiving and the stream will be available for everyone who couldn't make it today. For all of the lovely uh, chat people, it was really great to interact with you in real time. I hope you enjoyed the coding and implementing parts, that you got a little bit more insight what it's actually like to make a game. Um, so yeah, have a nice evening, day, morning, whatever it is where you are, and uh, see you for something like this again soon. Bye bye.